You could call her series Murder She Baked. Joanne Fluke is a New York Times bestselling author of more than 20 novels. Hannah Swenson is a character who pairs an intriguing combination of baking recipes with amateur sleuthing, and readers just cannot wait to bake the recipes in her books, her latest cookbooks. And I, I call them cookbooks because they're cookbooks and they're murder mysteries. Joanne Fluke is here with us this morning. So good to have you here. Thank you. It's really a treat. Everyone in our newsroom has been very excited about the fact that you're coming in. And I love that you brought cupcakes with you. You yeah, red velvet good. cupcakes. So cute. We can eat them lighter. <laughs> we, I think we will. Okay, it's very interesting to me that you've written a number of cookbook culinary mysteries where you tie baking into your storylines. That idea, just in and of itself, where did it come from? Um, I always wanted to write a cookbook, and I couldn't sell the darn thing. So actually what happened is my editor said, would you like to write cozy mysteries? And I said, can I put recipes in them? And he said, sure, why not? And that's how Hannah Swenson was born. Which is the main character of your book. Mm -hmm. Did the writing come easily to you? Because usually that's the part that people struggle with. Fairly easily, I think. Yeah. G generally, when I write, I start early in the morning before the telephone solicitors call, and uh, I write 10 pages a day. I try ten to. 10 pages a day. Mm -hmm. Tell us about Hannah, your main character. Oh, Hannah is, well, she's over 30, and she's a little too plump. We're not going to say really plump, but a little too plump, probably because she makes such <laughs> wonderful things. Do you and Hannah, in terms of the storyline, have anything in common where you were born or raised or family life? What's in, what are the, the nuggets that you share with Hannah? Minnesota. Okay, I was born and raised small town, Minnesota, and this is Lake Eden, Minnesota. Fictional, but it's a compilation of every little town in Minnesota that I've ever lived in or been through. Your recipes people love, and I, I believe this newest book has at least 10 oh, reci yes. real recipes that people can uh, try for themselves. Where do you get the recipes? Do you, are they your own? Where do you find them and how do you test them? Some are my own and some uh, come from Hannah fans. They send me their family recipes, which is wonderful. I test them three times a piece. I want to make sure they work all three times. And then my son's girlfriend tests them. Now, I'm not going to give her name, but she can't boil water. So, if, yeah, if she can make the recipe, I know anybody can. And then it goes in the book. And how do you come up with the titles? You have Apple Turnover Murder. I think you have a Carrot Cake Murder. Mm -hmm. How do you come up with the titles, and how do you weave that recipe into the storyline? Well, the title recipe is usually found at the murder scene which is sometimes hard to finagle. <laughs> but um, sure enough, you know, there's a red velvet cupcake at the murder scene. Or a cream puff. Or a cream puff, yes, a plate of cream puffs or whatever. Which yes. Is, uh, what has been your biggest challenge in, in marrying these two as a writer? Because you started later than a lot of writers do. I did. I wrote other things first. You know, this was not my first, my first series. I wrote... Uh, thrillers that scared me half to death. So, you know, I decided I would write something kinder, gentler, and use my baking. <laughs> I Which love is, to bake. You do love to bake? Yes, I do. Desserts mostly, it sounds like? Yes, yes, desserts mostly. Do, oh. you, do you think you'll ever put them all together and just put out that cookbook? Yes, <laughs> I'm sure I will. I, as a matter of fact, have a sort of a cookbook out there, sort but it has little stories in it, too. That sort of it's together. called Joanne Fluke's Lake Eden Cookbook. Lake Eden Cookbook, so you can find that, too. How do you explain uh, the popularity of your books? Because your readers love them. I'm not sure. I really, I think it's because Hannah is so likable. I mean, she is just a lot of fun. And she's not really glamorous, and she's not, you know, a svelte uh, size three or anything. And I think people like that. She's just an ordinary small town girl. All American girl. That's right. Well, Joanne, it's so nice to have you here. And uh, the name of the book, again, is called Red Velvet Cupcake Murder. And we are going to be trying the cupcakes here shortly. And uh, have a great time while you're in Seattle before your next destination on your book tour. Oh, thank you so much. Appreciate it.